it's Cecilia and Jason and we are here at Sussex Centre for our first ramen nominee for the Wesley Food Award. Yum, mm -hmm. bye, bye bye stay. Bye bye. So we're at Ramen Osan with our drinks that we bought at another shop nearby and we're ready to get some ramen. This week we spoke to Belle and Joe from Awesome Asia. Mm -hmm. They got a short quote, thank you. <laughs> that quote is, Ramen Osan is good for the soul, delicious ramen made with love. Mm. What more do you want? I'm so excited. Let's go Can smash some. Yep. Yeah. The pork tonkotsu. <laughs> yep. And this is a collagen tonkotsu. So it's a little bit different. I haven't seen anywhere in Sydney have something like that. I've never seen a ramen look like that before in my entire life. It's really good for your skin, you know, collagen. No, no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> and. The important snack. Yes. The Go house made pork gyozu. So let's start with the chicken. Okay. The chicken broth because it's a bit thin, uh, lighter. Yep. Than the ton uh, tonkotsu. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have the chicken bit first. Mm. Mm. So. It's crispy, I could hear it. Yep. Mm. One of my bugs, as you know, is having the, um, the katsu chicken mm -hmm. uh, in the broth because it gets too soggy. Mm. The noodles come really close to the top, mm. and so this sits on top of the noodle, so the. Um, the top is still really crispy. crispy. Yeah. Fantastic. And the chicken is really tender, it's like really juicy. So it's got that, that usual katsu flavour that you love. Mm. Actually, when you eat ramen, it's polite to slurp really loudly. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I'm so you're like, for all. You know, this is your zone, mm. you can go for it. Okay. Mm. Here is beard slapping slurp coming up. So this broth is absolutely stunning. It has the flavour of the katsu. Like I can kind of taste that, the crumb in mm. the broth. Moving on from the chicken. Sadly, sadly. So you can see the difference between this broth and yeah. the chicken. It's so much thicker. That's my spoon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as you can see here, the broth is much thicker. It's much more porky. Yeah. And they cook this all over 10 hours, whoops. Oh wow. With the pork, fat and marrow, yeah. all through that broth. And mm. it's like, it's, it's an oily, well, an oily yeah, broth. Yeah, oily and it mm. feels, to me it feels silky when yeah. I drink it. I'm not saying oily in a bad one. way. Mm. I do like a good oil. I need to okay. try the pork. I love, like when I get ramen and there's pork, I always get extra, because you see the layer of fat. Mm. That is pork it? is amazing though. It's Milk. tender Milk and you can tell mouth. it's been there forever. Look. That pork's almost homely. It's mm. like comfort food. But I do find this quite a lot thicker. Yeah. Um, this to me is more of a summer mm. ramen and this is definitely a winter ramen. It's got that miso mm, sort like of texture to flavor. it. Mm. We need a swipe from CC. Quite a good slurp. Do you prefer the thinner broth or the thicker broth? I have to say today, I love them both, mm. but I'm preferential to the chicken. Mm -hmm. Straight away I said this is a summer, uh, yeah. summer ramen. Yeah. yeah. I do but I mean, design. in the cold of winter with the roaring fireplace, I would suck this baby dry. <laughs> so many inappropriate choices. Shall we move on to the last one, the mm -hmm. collagen. collagen. This bowl is actually smaller, so I think because, oh, because it's, it's so thick. thick? Yeah. But, I mean, who would have thought there'd be a collagen ramen? What is this? This is pork. Okay. Oh. Fatty. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. Nice it's thinly chopped. Sweet soy aftertaste. Yeah. Here you go. Gun in for nudes. Oh. <laughs> Yum. I eat mm. that. 
That's quite a unique flavoured broth. I don't know how to describe it. A little bit more miso-ish. Mm. It's very thick. It again. is quite, it's oily again like mm. the pork, mm. but it's kind of a bit more earthy like yeah. miso. Yeah. Yep. Even though it's thicker, it feels like the taste is lighter than the tonkatsu. Oh really? Want, yeah. Than the broth? Yeah, the broth, the broth. That's how it is. You need to do the taste. Like, that one feels like the depth of flavour. Mm. There's more. It's like a heavier flavour. Yeah. yeah. But this one's lighter, but it's just as thick. Yeah. It's so hard to describe I'd still go this one. <laughs> Yeah, look, I agree. Look, I do think this is a bit lighter. Mm. You've got to speak to the people. Yep. So, what so they, area are they from? They're from an area, area called Fukuoka. Oh, okay. Fukuoka. Fukuoka. <laughs> so, the recipes for all these um, broths actually come from Japan, from an area called Fukuoka. And so, he's been making this every day, cooking it for 10 hours, getting wow. all the but, um, pork bones and the pork fat into it, oh. and making you know this thick, this thick. Yeah. Really. So thick when they thick. cook it with all the bones, all that marrow just mm. oozes into the broth. Mm. Should yeah. we try the gyoza? Absolutely. These are all house made. Mm. Beautiful. The uh. The wrap or the pastry or the the giant noodle stock that holds the meat <laughs> <laughs> is so soft and tender, mm. and that pork is just delicious. Yeah, it's, they actually mince it quite thin, but you still get a bit of, like mm. the texture coming through as well. And the uh, spring onion and ginger. Mm. Hi, I'm Hiroki from Ramen Osama. Please come and try a ramen boat for us. Thank you. Oh, what do you think? I'm stuffed. I thought it was absolutely amazing. Some of the best ramen that I've eaten. Mm. Absolutely fantastic. And who would have thought that it's hidden up here in a little food court up on Sussex Street. It's a place that people can come out if they work in the city, quickly run down, grab a bowl of ramen, grab a drink, and then, you know, half an hour later you're back at work, probably asleep. So, <laughs> could you down the pork ramen and then go back to work without falling asleep at your table? No, I need a chef after that. Okay, what was your favourite? My favourite was the pork tongue. Okay. For sure. I'm gonna go with the chicken, but I was a bit of a chicken or pork. I quite like both of them, but that pork one's very heavy. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's good for winter, which we're still in, so I can have more of that. Bring it on. So that ends our first ramen video for the WTF ramen category. Remember to subscribe to our channel and share and like our video and come give them a try because it's really good ramen. It is really good. Yeah. It's very nice.